seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That is incredible news. We just heard the call out for booster uh, All right, engine cut off. Engine startup. Most engines cut off down to those Stay middle three. Booster press startup. Just like Ship this chamber silver nominal. flare uh, coming back to the, the, once again, we are standing by for uh, 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 attempting to catch the booster at the tower. This would be the second tower catch. Booster landing, landing burn. burn. See it, 13 engines. Booster now hovering as it aligns with the tower for catch. Booster coming in. Down Get ready to, for that boom, Kate. Down to three engines. Booster ready for check out. Megavora has caught the booster. Uh, but at this point, uh, we did lose the upper stage of the ship. So uh, again, we're gonna we're gonna listen in and try and figure out a little bit more about what happened. And obviously, we'll do kind of a full breakdown once we get smarter ourselves yeah. uh, in the coming hours and days as well. For sure. Now, uh... seven, six, five, four, three, two. Again, we're going to ignite first the center 13 engines. You can see that coming up here momentarily. Engines and startup. This is going to come down to three engines as the booster slows down for its landing. And we just heard the sonic boom. What an incredible sight to see the super heavy booster gliding down booster into the chopstick down. arms once again. Thank you very much, Paul, the booster. Stuck the landing. Where you can see a pretty good view of all six Raptors, especially those three inner ones, one of which we're gonna hopefully relight a little bit later. And we just saw some engines go out. It looks like we are losing attitude control of the ship. Ship MTS is saved. So we're still getting video down from the ship. You can see we've lost several engines and we've lost attitude control of the vehicle. View than last time. And at this point, we've essentially lost contact with the ship. We're no longer receiving telemetry at this moment. So we were only about 20 seconds away or so from the end of that ship ascent burn. We saw several of the engines start to cut out. Engines powering down. Booster engine cut off. Ship ignition. Stage separation. Down one of those three center engines. 
intentionally to push the limits of the super heavy booster. Super Raptor chamber pressure is nominal. And continuing to see Earth. We can see those grid fins doing some heavy work. Booster landing start up. Ship engine cut off. At this point, we had lost attitude control of the ship and entered into a spin. The team made the call to do what's called passivate the vehicle, so we're essentially venting all of the remaining propellant overboard. Plasma built up uh, during re-entry. We do expect the vehicle to see about 1,400 degrees Celsius, and there you can see the, the flap uh, feeling that we are no longer controlling the attitude of the vehicle. So this is now at this point in the, the test flight, it is expected uh, to see it begin to uh, demise a little bit on its way back down to Earth. Yeah. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We got 12 of those 13. Down to three, including one of the middle ring. Down to two. Landing nice little down. hover. And landing bird shut down. And into the gulf, here we come. And the booster has splashed down. There we go. You. <laughs> what really helps way us too long to do that. that. There we go. The fact that we're using Starlink, we're, we're operating at just a much higher frequency. That's not what we want to see. So we started, we just saw some of the aft skirt just take a hit. If we're able to get any live views of the ship, that'll essentially tell you that we nailed our target. Able to do that on our six flight desk, do it in the daytime, which was really exciting. Yeah, we're going to look for the flip. So Starship's doing its belly flop right now. We're going to do the flip. Swing out. Let's punch through some clouds first. Here we go. Starship landing burn start up. Seeing three engines. There's our flip. There's a buoy. Oh There's a splashdown. Oh hey. Oh. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> farewell. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff, go super heavy, go Starship. Thanks for all the historic flights, bad one. Downrange. Who's running cutoff? Ship 
ship ignition. Stage separation. Use back burn startup. Slow down the booster for landing. And finally, that will come down to three, and we'll cut all of them off while we're still about 200 meters in the air. So, booster is gonna see a bit of a hard <laughs> Booster landing or startup. Shut down. We saw a 13 to 5 to 3 V3, V3 demonstration, and into the water we go. Wow, that was absolutely awesome. Ship engine cut off. All ship raptors have shut Nominal down. Nominal orbit insertion. Coax it out. Get it moving, Jake. There we go. All right. First one going out. All right. First one's deployed. Getting ready for the second one here. We do a little reset back to the center position. See that speed just continue to bleed off under 20,000 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Flaps holding strong. Landing burn in just under 20 seconds. Landing startup. There's our landing burn. Three down to two. Starship has landed. As we said, we're not planning on recovering the ship today. Hey, welcome back to Earth Starship. We are down in the Indian Ocean. Let him hear at Starbase.